Just like it's in with the plot. We walked through the shrine and wound up in front of the school. All three of us stopped walking. The school was silent seeing as it was New Year's Day. The only people who might be here would be workaholic teachers or truly dedicated members from the sports clubs. I wish they would take a day off for New Year's, but at least it meant we could enter the school grounds freely. Why did we come here? There was no reason to come to school on New Year's Day. I guess we're just so used to walking this way. That's right. I bet we came here for band practice. When kimonos, Nanaka pulled out her cell phone and gave Potaro a call. That reminds me, earlier it wasn't only like the one chord progression that I was playing over that sounded a bit too much like the outro to Layla. There was also something else I had played and recorded earlier, which I might show at the end of the recording, I suppose. Is I was kind of messing around with one of the Japanese scales, so it has a very oriental sound to it, but I couldn't figure out what kind of chords to use, so I just like took the notes within the scale and just playing them like doom doom, and it literally sounded like a koto in a way, which I suppose is probably the point of the scale. Nanaka made the okay sign with her fingers look like he was on his way. The three of us started laughing. I agree, but none of us were really upset about it. We stopped off in the teacher's room on our way to the music room in order to get the key. Mataru finally showed up. He was taken by surprise as soon as he had entered the music room. I admit it was odd seeing them wearing kimono inside the music room, but it was New Year's Day after all. Hey! We'll have to be playing traditional stuff now! You're a freak, Wataru! You say the weirdest stuff. Anyway, everybody here, how did we all end up like this on New Year's Day? We practiced for a while. Practice was off screen, then at last, we decided to take a break. I uh, went to the restroom and brought some juice from the vending machine. Hmm? Huh? It was the Nakar no Taru. They were talking by the window in the hallway. What were they doing? Could it be a confession of love? No, it's probably something about the band. <laughs> What is it? I had no idea what they were talking about. Demo, 
気持ちは譲れないのたとえここでも What's going on? You are so dense I can read this situation without even having to remember it too much. But when this scene is just like, what's wrong, baby, an idiot and a perv and all that? But he is a man. He's able to, like, despite all this overwhelming feeling, just like, the girl he loves loves someone else. There's nothing he can do about it. He doesn't want to force anything. He's like, no. I respect her decisions, even if I may not be happy with it overall because it breaks my heart and things like that. He's still like, I want her to be happy either way, it doesn't matter with who and all that. But Yoshiuk is too tense to read the situation. I had lost my chance to approach them. And how come Rotaro looked so serious? I heard what they were saying, but they, what were they talking about? Yoshiuki, <laughs> Well, I jumped as Coco tapped my shoulder from behind, but Taro and Anaka also realized I was there. Uh, <laughs> I was just coming back from the Ludo. She sounded surprised. <laughs> oh yeah, take whichever one you want. They were smiling like nothing had happened. Oh well. Stuff happens. I guess it's their business. Yoshiuki is a dense man, sure. Wataru Ashida says all back to the music room. After that, we threw ourselves into the practice. Practice kind of went like ding 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 Taro also had to go home because his relatives were visiting his family. I guess it would be tiring to wear a kimono all day long, but it was funny to watch them try to make it work. Well, it's New Year's, you guys should go home and relax now. Coco seemed shy about something. What's the matter with her? Why? Whoops. Okay. I remember that Coco's father was assigned to a post off the island, so Coco lived alone with her mother. Coco squirmed uncomfortably. Was she about to ask to stay at my place? Well done, Yoshiuki. You read the freaking thing properly that time. But you're going to go into full dense mode anyway, aren't you? What did you say? Images flashing through my mind, Coco in the bathtub, Coco in just a t-shirt, Coco cooking just for me. Why would she go around in only a t-shirt? But she's not coming home until tomorrow because of work. We were gripped by an awkward silence. But you're very welcome to stay if you want. What? 
That face. Yeah, you know me, Nanaka. It's dangerous to go along, so take me. That sounded a bit awkward. Sure, of course. Yeah, I'm gonna spend the night alone with two girls. I knew nothing would happen, but it was still an enviable situation. A potentially awkward situation, too. Huh? What's the matter? Coco is looking down. Coco, what's the matter? The rivalry continues. Coco and Nanka decide to go home first and get changed. Heh heh heh, I'm excited. And then they don't show up at all. Clearly, my calculations were off. One guy and four girls under one roof. Girls gain strength in numbers. Good grief. Oh well. I always had fun in a crowd. I don't. I hate crowds! Why would anyone like being surrounded by freaking tons of people? I'll never understand it. But that's probably because, you know, social anxiety. I can't stand big crowds. I don't see the appeal. There was a big feast laid out on the table. Seriously, like, going to a concert or something, you got like all these people, like, all pushed up against each other. It's like walking into a freaking herd of freaking, well, people, isn't it? It's like, if they freaking decide to stampede, how am I going to get out of Dodge? There was a big feast laid out on the table. It felt like I'd been doing nothing but eating lately. I guess that's just how New Year's goes. It looks delicious. You eat a lot. Good grief. He likes to say that, doesn't he? Except mostly in his mind. You may have been in a bad mood all evening. She got mad ever since she heard that Coke and Anaka would be spending the night. It's like her hobby. It's my hobby to glare at him as well, I must say. I tend to do it in almost every scene that I appear in. You may seem a little common now that she was talking about it. Eventually her anger died down to a pout and she quietly ate her meat. Good grief, there he goes again. After dinner, we played around for a while watching TV and playing Old Maid. It was time to get pretty late. You may stretched out sleepingly on the floor. The bath's ready, you guys can go first if you'd like. Thank you for dinner. We bowed to each other. She didn't glare. I only saw them as far as the front door. They were right next door, after all. Yep. I promise. She's always on top of these things. Oyasumi. One of the few things I can say in Japanese. Phew, what a day. 
I decide to take a bath and go to bed. But first I ballet out the futons in the spare room for Koko Nanaka. I pulled him out of the living room, closed it and hold him over to the guest room. This should be good enough. I set up the futons in their room. They could adjust them if they wanted. <laughs> I could hear their voices echoing from the bathroom. Were they weaving together? Ah, I tossed the pillow I was holding aside and dashed towards the bathroom. <laughs> you kidding me, man? Oh, wow! They really were taking a bath together. I mean, we have like, it seems like... What do they expect, like loads of stuff just bunged on the floor? And just like, compared to the ones that, like, women that like put various different kinds of stuff all over the place. Just like, well you just look at it, it's like... Uh, which, which one is the shampoo? It's so many different brands here, I don't know what the fuck anything is here. There's just so much shit all over the place, I can't even freaking wash my hands, it's too much shit! Oh man! I always keep my bathing extra bathroom extra clean. Enjoy it as much as you like, ladies. That's... that just sounds... <laughs> It's like, have you always had big breasts? Oh yeah, it was a pain in the ass when I was born, because I already had them, you know, pretty big to begin with. It was a real pain, as you would imagine. How big is this bath, anyway? Oh, shit. I was starting to imagine things like Wataru, and you're just like, you're always like looking at Wataru, what an idiotic pervert. Ha! Ha ha! Calling a kettle black, isn't it? What kind of mischief could those two innocent girls be getting into behind closed doors? If I could press the button at the same time as playing my guitar, I'd try to play like a kind of jazzy kind of chord progression over it. And then they start touching each other there and there and... Yoshiyuki? Damn it! I accidentally spoke too loud. Why would you speak these things out loud, you fool? <laughs> no, seriously. Why? <laughs> they started yelling at me from the bath. Is the reason for that because they do the traditional thing of wrapping the towels around instead of, you know, actually getting dressed in the bathroom? I'll never understand that. I apologize silently and beat a hasty retreat. Uh, I know that nothing's going on, but I feel so restless. There were two pretty girls sleeping under the same roof as me. Who could stay calm at a time like this? If Taro was here, I bet we'd have some crazy adventure. We would have got together and tried to peep inside the bathroom or checked out their lingerie. Though, uh, that would probably be uh, legal. I resolved to not tell him that Nanaka and Koko stayed with me. It'd probably make a fuss about it. If something happened, it would obviously cause all sorts of drama. But if anything didn't happen, he'd be pissed off at me too. He'd be angry that I wasted the opportunity or something. Okay, um, wow! Uh, 
Uh, nothing, just picking up the laundry. I stared at them in the pajamas, I'd never seen them like that before. Well... Well, obviously when we went through the Narcos route, we'd seen that, but... Wait, hang on a minute. Didn't she answer the door in the pajamas one time before? Like, in this very build-up to this route? So what's he talking about? Oh, man. They were both so freaking adorable! That's totally the way his inner voice sounds like. Can you imagine it? I'll have some too. Naka got the ice cream from the freezer. They were individual cups of vanilla, chocolate and strawberry. The girls chose ones they liked and I took the one that was left. Eating cold ice cream around the warm cozy Akutatsu is nice. The three of us continue to talk all night. We talked about school, class and the band. About Anzu and the class president. About Wataru and Suganami. We talked a lot and stayed up late. It was now well past midnight. We turn off the TV and I got ready to take my bath. With me these days, I end up freaking awake through most of the night and... That's more or less how I am, really. I'm more of a night person than a morning person. But after, like, switch it around, you know, gotta be up in the day as well. So it just, like, it becomes a confusing, irregular kind of schedule, just like... One day I'm like awake for the day, and next thing you know I'm sleeping through the morning and afternoon and waking up in the evening and then sleeping in like 5, 6 in the morning. Yeah, good night. Feel free to rearrange the room as you need it. The room felt really quiet after they went to bed. It also felt colder. I was used to being alone, but why did it always feel this way? I guess that's what they mean by girl power. Girl power? They're vicious and chatty, quick to anger and laughter. Very chatty indeed, like... Since I've been, like, taking the bus to, uh, like, go places nowadays, like... When I have a guitar lesson, catch the bus to get there and all that, I've noticed, like... There's uh, like a specific kind of group of people, or just people in general, really, that you'll find on the bus. Is like, if you see two girls getting on the bus that are fr clearly friends, you just know it's going to be chatty, 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 chat, 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 chat. And there I am, just sat there in complete silence, just like. This this is always awkward when it's like, and it's also the same with people on phones. Off subject of the off subject that I had off subject from this game, if that makes any sense. You notice that though, with people on phones just like supposed to be like privately on the phone, but they're like, hello, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Oh, I know, man, it's yes, yes, yes. I love it, yes, yes, yes. Shouldn't it be a bit quieter? But no, loud. It's like everybody. Hear my conversation on the phone, from my perspective, without hearing the other person on the other side of the phone. Ah, oh, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna put it on so that you can actually hear the other person online. Just like, turn that off, you fucking idiots! Oh, sorry, ah, uh, yes, well, we were talking about it. All that. I don't get it. They're exhausting to be around. But they're also warm and smell good and they seem so soft. Shit, I can't stop thinking about what happened in the bathroom. Even though nothing actually happened outside my perverted imagination. Ugh, I'm gonna take a bath and go to sleep. No one of his excuses when he went to the bathroom could have been a bit different. Just like, I need a piss. I wonder how they'd react to that. I turned off the night in the I turned off the light in the living room. It felt even colder still. Huh? I 
As I went out into the hallway, I heard their merry chatter from their room. They were having one last round of girls' talk before they went to bed. Very loud. Have you noticed that? If you, like, just sat there quietly, and just, like, the people chatting in a different room, it's always so loud that you end up unintentionally eavesdropping, because that's all you can bloody hear. Girls really are amazing creatures. I find that a weird way of saying it, isn't it? I smiled grimly and made sure the front door was locked. I turned off the light in the hallway, then headed towards the bathroom.